Victims of this accident. Dude, no hey, who way. was in this vehicle? Center and her golden retriever Max were slowly driving their way home, who was driving 156 miles per hour, slammed into her SUV, and sent it 600 feet down the lanes before it stopped and caught on fire. What? Yeah, I bossed up, there was hating for no reason. Got a bag, they said I was cheating. Trying to run my legs, they was tweaking. I was balling every day, all day, every season. Yeah, I bossed up. Yo, what's going on, guys? This is what Captain Clutch here, back with a brand new YouTube video, man. And today we got a suspect who realizes they ran over two people. Let's check it out, man. Police officers are used to handling Dang, tough situations, a accident, but having to tell us to a damn house suspects that they might have killed someone has to be the, the hardest. No, not the you go to jail and you don't have a bond, you kill two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. Starting with the worst type of case there is, a DUI crash that killed two innocent Bro, civilians. That's a big fire. Hey, we got medical coming up, okay? No, that's a big fire right He there. needs medical, right? Hold on. On November 2nd, 2021, the police came on to the scene of a high-speed DUI crash that had turned fatal. Dude, that's crazy, bro. 49 arriving. We got to block the intersection. Anyone inside the vehicle? Oh, no. I okay. don't okay. Control 449. The vehicle is completely on fire. We cannot tell it. The suspect was none other than Las Vegas Raiders football player Henry Ruggs. His the Corvette suspect. was sitting on the curb completely destroyed, but only a few feet away were the victims of this accident. Dude, no hey, who way. was in this vehicle? I, I lost somebody probably in there, but this is Henry Ruggs right here. This is Henry Ruggs right here, but he's been for the Tina Tinter and her golden retriever Max were slowly driving their way home from the park when Henry, who was driving 156 miles per hour, slammed into her SUV and sent it 600 feet down the lanes before it stopped and caught on fire. What? This was a football player, dude. He... No way. He was going 150 on a regular street. Dude, that's crazy. 150, you're crazy, man. Poor, poor, poor girl and her dog, man. The speed limit in that area was only 45 miles per hour. 45. So it, just like, it happens like through out there, man. So the skin marks? Yeah, the skin marks and the debris. The yeah. Like it happened out there and then. Maybe you think it dragged it? Huh? You think it, it, it happened over there and it dragged it all over? Yeah. Well, maybe when they got hit. Yeah. You lose control, you know, you get knocked out and then the car keeps driving. The security guy was talking to him, he said he saw it. He saw the Corvette like speeding. And then he, he, he hears a loud bang. And then he comes over here and he's like, apparently, I think he said two people in the car. He tried getting in the mouth, but all of a sudden the brain started going crazy. Yeah. So he hit not only was Henry speeding, but his blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit in Nevada. At first, no he refused way. a field sobriety test, but when his blood was tested in the hospital, it was 0.16%. See, man, that's like the bad thing about driving a really fast car, like a Corvette. Like, you just gotta think about that kind of stuff. And he wasn't even alone in the at car. Least drive he slow put his or passenger in man. danger, and it was none slow. other than his fiancée, Yara Janai Kilgo Washington, who fortunately only suffered a wrist injury. Ruggs, on the other hand, wasn't even wearing his seatbelt, and he was found hanging out of the driver's side of the Corvette, with his feet on the car floor and his body on the road. Now they were both sitting on the curb waiting for medical he didn't help. Have his seat belt on. He's hey, a we got medical idiot. coming up, okay? He needs medical, right? They didn't suffer any big injuries, but we Ow, can't man. say the same about the victims in the other car. Tina and her dog didn't were the only ones who didn't on. survive the crash. The police said Tinter was stuck in her man. car's driver's seat during the crash man. and sadly burned to death. Hey, somebody saw that vehicle that you know of? Dude, that's horrible. That's terrifying. Right there, bro. Please, can we get help? Is there nobody in the car? You tell me it's going to be one person and a dog. A dog? The yeah. Car's the dog's going to be in the rear and the going to be in the front. If we would have been here like maybe like a couple minutes earlier, we would have been able to get him out. No, it would be such a fire. 
A lot of people rushed over when they heard the crash and they tried really hard to help Tintor. Alexander Hart, a security guard nearby, says he heard screams from inside Tintor's car after the car had caught on fire. No Other way, witnesses man. tried to get her out, but the smoke and flames got too bad, so they had to step away before they could save her. Bro, just imagine like that was like your cousin or something or your friend. Like, I'm telling you, man, like you gotta start being more responsible and careful, man. Like, the people who be doing this stuff, like, bro, they putting people's lives in danger, like, just like that. Her. I thought for sure we were gonna be able to do something just for a little so thrill, you know what I mean? And uh, it just it grew fast, really fast. And I feel like when, when people around me do done. that stuff, it makes me want to do it too. You know, what I mean, you see someone do it, and you want to do it too. You know what I'm saying? Someone goes trying to race you, and you're trying to race them. Like, just be the bigger person and don't try not to do it. Don't do it. He was devastated. I sincerely apologize for the pain and suffering my actions the morning of November 2nd, 2021 have caused you, your family, and those who knew and loved Miss Tina and Max. The only thing left for him to do was plead guilty, and that's what he did. Ruggs was charged with DUI causing death and a misdemeanor count of vehicular manslaughter and is facing three to ten years in prison. But this next suspect didn't feel as guilty for what they did. Bro, what the fuck did you put your hands on me for? Why do you even doing that? Let me tell you what you're doing, bro. You can't do that. 10 years for what he did, bro. That's honestly like a slap on the wrist. I wasn't driving at all, bro. Probably just because he's an NFL player, though. MHPD received a call about a hit and run on Pearl and immediately rushed to the scene. The victim was driving on Pearl Road towards West 130th. Another driver in the same lane suddenly hit them from behind, pushing their car onto the sidewalk. Unfortunately, the suspects were long gone. Is this her car that came up on the curb, or? It was a getaway car. It took off. Alright, so the car came up and then just what? Just yeah, took off this one? Yeah, she thought they were going to stop and then they took off. Okay. Oh, okay. Someone, someone. Are you alright? Okay. Do you want to let go? Looks like you're, are you cold or are you just holding your arm for like it hurts? Okay. How old are you? 21? Okay. Does your neck or back hurt? Yeah, all I've ever been in an accident before. Uh, have you ever heard of an adrenaline rush? Do you feel your heart yeah, rapidly I pumping? Feel weird and stuff. Yeah, man. Okay. Pain after Were you wearing your seatbelt? Okay. The adrenaline will be rushing. Um, traveling that way towards West 130th? Okay. All right. And I have a, like, the witness, like, their name and number, and they saw the book. Okay. And I have a picture of the license plate number and the car. Alright, do you remember what kind of car? Do you remember what kind of car it looked like? It was a Mazda, like the like kind of car. That was the car? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. But they didn't get far because their car broke down near T Mobile. The woman driving and the man with her ran away towards Speedway on West 130th, and that's when the police caught both of them. Hey, you two. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. What do you got there? Yeah, what type? What type is it? That is a key, bro. I did nothing wrong. What the did you put your hands on me for? Why do you even do that? Let me tell you what you're doing, bro. You can't do that. You can't do that, bro. What's that like? I wasn't driving at all, bro. The officer went on to cuff the suspect, and it got pretty intense. I'm detaining you. You're not going to let Okay. You're not an arrest. Honestly, man, playing tough guy, you can't do with a cop, man. Because the thing is, like, you try to be tough one cop, let's say you do fight a cop and beat him, whatever. You're just going to have more cops on you, and you're not going to beat all of them. You know what I'm saying? So just, you're just going to get more years, so don't even do it. Don't even fight. Don't even make a problem. Because I don't like when you pull away. I never pull away. Dude. You already, I got you. you already yeah. ran the scene from an accident. Your car sitting right over there. I'm right here. You already ran the scene 
For what accident? He didn't run a scene. He just did not bring no fuck on this, dude. He didn't run a scene. Why aren't you with the car? Nobody came. Why are you here for 20 minutes? We're calling. Nobody came. We're calling. You have anything on you? You have anything on you? Nothing, bro. We're calling. You want it? Nothing, bro. That's fuck. I don't believe it. Okay, cool. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. But it turns out he wasn't the one driving. As they coughed and questioned the woman who was with him, they found out exactly what happened. I got two detentions. Poor guy, man. He wasn't even driving. What did I do? Well, you were in that vehicle. Why are you bleeding from the nose? I did not. Nobody pulled over. Nobody came. So you don't you don't walk away. What's your name? They've got they get, got the keys right there. Oh, that's stupid. You're the one in the vehicle. Oh, you, don't you got no problem. See, there. that's just dumb. Open your hands for me, please. Somebody hit us, bro. Oh, and then you guys left? Yeah. No, we oh, okay. Right here. Well, all right, I'm going to listen to you. Right okay. Yeah, you guys are, you guys that's are down. Yeah, you that's his weed. Um, what do you have on you, man? I don't have anything. You don't have anything? Yeah. You want to step up to the hood of my car? Or the sight bolt. Oh, for sure. Who was driving? Me. You were driving? Yeah. Why does he have the key? Yeah. Why does he have the key, though? I don't know. Oh, the seat was all the way up? Yeah. So he is driving. No, he was not driving. Oh, she was driving? Why are you bleeding from your nose? Are you okay? I'm not bleeding from my nose. What the f***? you got, yeah, you, there's hey, blood all over Hey, listen to us. We can see your nose. You're bleeding from the nose. Okay. Let me see your eyes. What drugs have you snorted? Uh, marijuana. You snort marijuana? No, I didn't smoke marijuana, but I, I snort marijuana. She's got an open bottle of Patron anyways. Yeah. So. That, all right. Yeah. And yeah, is that hers? Or was that yeah, what he had? Yeah, bag. That's mine. Yeah, you get cited, you go to jail. That's, that's the base play. Dang, man. They were both under the influence of drugs and alcohol. So my partner there told me that you uh, spoke to him. What'd you tell him, ma'am? Stay sober. Where'd you have two shots at? At a bar. At a bar. The Winking Lizard? Which one? The one in Strongsville? Okay, how long ago was that? Within the hour? How, how many other drinks did you have today? That's it? Because of how cold it was, they decided to take them to the station to proceed with the sobriety tests, even though they knew exactly what the results would be. Okay, do you understand what's happening? We're running you through some tests because you did verbally admit to some alcohol intake? Yep. And then you got in a car accident, okay? So what I want you to do, stand with your... No, nope, you can stay right there. I'll move to you. Uh, stand like that. Keep your hands on your sides. Keep your head straight. Don't move your head side to side. Just follow my finger with your eyes, okay? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. You have to keep your head still. Okay. Just okay. follow with your eyes. Okay. You, you have to follow my hand with your eyes. Dog. She's like... Can you see my finger? I can just see your finger. So the next two exercises, they're going to be balancing. Again, okay. you said no problems with balancing. I don't know. Well, you said you had no issues, no hip, I don't back, think knees. So, but... Okay, so I want you to keep standing like you are. Okay. You're, yep, we're going to follow down this line, okay? okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to plant your left foot down, right foot in front of the other. Left foot down, right foot. Left no, foot no, 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 hold. Don't, right don't, don't start. Oh, God. Wait, go left foot. You don't up, want to do this right test? I'm just slide. like. I'm you cannot use. You, you cannot use. Oh, you cannot use the wall. Basically, I'm saying. Okay, that's fine. The man riding in the car was Can't not charged. Slide, no. A woman, identified as Krista Jackson, was charged with having an open container, having multiple driver's licenses, weaving between lanes, driving on the sidewalks, curbs, tree lawn, DUI, and leaving the scene of the accident. She got the driver's license from Timu, man. She got the. She got the license from Timo, man. Bootleg ones. But what happens Replicas. when you crash into a family's apartment and ruin oh, their man, lives that's crazy, forever? Several people that got hurt man inside the house. Yeah. On June 28, 2021, Jesus Cruz drunkenly slammed his car into an apartment right into a sleeping 16-year-old and a 12-year-old. As soon as the cops started questioning him, they knew he had too much to drink, even though Jesus claimed he was sober. You don't remember your nothing? What the heck? He doesn't remember his December, name. December what? 
December? You don't remember? December, you don't remember? What's your address? I don't remember. You don't remember your address? Where were you coming from? From home. From home? And you were going home? So, where's home? It's that way. That way? In San Juan? How many have you had to drink? Jesus could barely answer any of the questions, and he couldn't even remember his last name. He was also in lots of pain. Does anything hurt? Everything hurts. What's everything? My nose hurts, okay. my arms hurt, my legs hurt, my knees hurt, everything he feels it all. Stand right over here. All right. All right. Look at the tip of my pen. Put your eyes on him. Do not, do not move your head. It hurts too much, bro. Okay, okay. I'm but just, this will take just a little bit. It's gonna be quick. Look, look at the team of pen with your eyes only, man. Ooh. What hurts? Everything hurts. That's actually interesting. Are you just gonna ask me what hurts? We're asking, I don't know what. Find out what. Oh! That you can't. Oh, y'all just trying to let me Drunk people can't, um. Finally, he remembered their his eyes last without name. moving their head. But what's your last name? Or they can't really move their eyes, really. But now it was time for the cops to remind him it's of crazy. what he did and the people he hurt. The FAR police department said that Jesus, far. who was only 22 years old at the time, drunkenly slammed his car into a family's apartment, killing a sleeping teen and injuring a 12 year old. What the hell? But Jesus knew exactly what he had done. That's why he didn't even question the cops when they placed him under arrest. I'm placing you under arrest. You're placing me under arrest. So I need to get you first medical attention. If I make this work, we're about to make your accident. Uh, uh, Right to swim. Watch it, watch it, watch it. A Texas judge gave Cruz a 20 year prison sentence after he admitted guilt to DWI causing death and serious bodily injury. You want me to be honest with you? You're going to jail, you don't have a bond, you killed two people tonight. This is Stephanie's reaction to finding out she ended the lives of two innocent people while drunk driving. Completely oblivious to everything she did that until the next bad, morning bro. when this happened. Did you understand what I told that you killed two people tonight? Yeah, so I'm just wondering where I can run to school. Okay, you would do it. She's worried about school? What the heck? She's actually crazy, man. Literally crazy. Come over here with me, ma'am, okay? I called as soon as the shit happened. She should I'm never like, drive again. I understand. I go to Bradley. Like, why would this happen to me? Okay. Stephanie is referencing her attendance at the Bradley University of Illinois, a private school that oh, tutors no. some of the smartest students in the area. But as you'll soon smartest? see, Stephanie isn't one of their star pupils. Were you leaving the bar? Were you coming this day? I was coming. I was coming here. Okay. You know, I had just gotten my night started, and so... Were well, you going this direction yeah. or this direction? I was coming this direction. Okay, here's what we're going to have you do. Um, yes, let's just get, let's get away from the seat a little bit, yes. let them do their thing, okay? This is your car, right? The yes, correct? Sir. The red yes, car? Yes. You were the only one in the vehicle? I'm the only one. Okay, come over here to my spot car, okay? Yep. Do you, can you take your purse off and just set that on here? We got him. Yep. Do you have anything illegal on you? Yes, I have marijuana in, in your purse. Okay. Have you had any marijuana tonight? No. Okay. Do you set those on the car for me for me? That flash, that flash well, she hadn't my been eye, smoking man. that night, the cop can already tell she'd definitely been drinking. Just how much will be discovered later. She's then Dang. taken to a patrol car and read she her Miranda rights. In her car. But since she hadn't taken a sobriety test, she hadn't yet been arrested. She the cop messy, decides man. to question her about the evening while he tries to figure out exactly what happened. Were you, were you driving this way or that coming down that coming side road? Here, this way. Okay. And suddenly, one person walked out in front of me. Okay. And my car got hit. I called you as soon as they you got ca hit. You called 911? Yes, I called 911. 
And then someone said, oh, someone else has said, I'm just like, oh, my God, how did that happen? Okay, what so, happened when you hit the one person? What happened? I, I just called you. That's all I know. Okay. I called did, you. Did they fall down right away, or did you get out and help them, or what happened? I got out, I called you, and then everyone else came out, so I like kind of just let them okay. come and take over the situation. Okay. Um, but I promise you, like, I only know one person got hit, and I'm just like, they came out of nowhere because I... If you had to ask me how Safe fast were you going when we hit the person? Okay. I would say I was in at least at least forty. At least forty. Maybe forty to forty five, but at least forty. Stephanie was driving through a residential area with a speed limit of thirty miles an hour. This meant she was going at least thirty percent over the speed limit in the dark. It's also becoming increasingly obvious just how drunk Stephanie really is. Her speech is much more animated and exaggerated than that of a sober person. She's struggling to sit still in her chair, and she randomly gazes off into the distance, amongst other strange behavior. Obviously, you saw them. It was no time to react, no time to stop. No time. Okay. That's the word. Okay. Not going to lie, I also that's... suck at keeping eye contact when talking. I, how much have you had to drink? I probably had about three drinks. What's what's what is three drinks? You like? Are we talking what type of drinks? I have to like really know you to one. keep going. Vodka, like straight vodka, or mixed drinks? Uh, vodka and water. So I was staying hydrated, you know, and okay. like uh, right now, if you had me do a test, I think I would pass. Just like, not, don't test me, but I think I would pass. Unfortunately for Stephanie, the cops have to test her given the circumstances. Let's also take a second to realize that Stephanie is fully aware that she's just hit two people with her car, but she's failing to show any concern or remorse. Whether that's because of her inebriated condition or just her personality remains to be seen. I want you to follow the tip of my pen of your eyes, your eyes only, but keep your head still. I want you to continue that test so I tell you to stop, okay? okay sir. You understand? Yes. All right, touch the tip of my pen just so you know where you... There you... Go. All right. That's what I want you to follow. Nope, keep your head still for me. Oh, my head. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Just your eyes. Oh, oh. We're going to try that again. It's All right. She is Just so it. irritating. When I say you're going to take nine heel to toe steps fact, she down this line, care, you're going to turn around take nine heel to toe steps back. Oh, what the... Nine? Nah. Continue the test, okay? Yeah, you Not can't only did do it. Stephanie completely you know. fail all three tests, she was also laughing and smiling throughout for this them. Test. But there was still one final thing the cops had to do before they could arrest her. In Illinois, you have to have a blood alcohol level of below .08 to be allowed to drive. Keep that in mind as she takes this breathalyzer test. You know what the legal limit is to drive in Illinois? Okay, .08, okay? What I have you do is take a deep breath, a long bar steady blow into the straw, just like you're blowing up a balloon. Keep blowing until you hear the machine click, okay? All right. Blowing up a what? Yes, ma'am. Take a deep breath, long bar steady blow. A little bit harder for me, a little bit harder. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. You're a point two six four, okay? You go and turn around for me and place your hands down your back. You are under arrest for DUI. But the night still isn't over for Stephanie, as she's taken back to the police station, where it's becoming increasingly obvious how unremorseful and oblivious she is about the entire situation, and where the fate of the victims she's hit is revealed. Why is she celebrating? Oh, hey, you never answered me. Why is she, why is she celebrating? I school tomorrow, so how do I get my car for tomorrow? Well, your car is told. It's what? Your car is told. Told? Told? Total. Wrecked. Okay, so how do I get it to your speed? You don't. So you're going to jail you? tomorrow. I know, I'm going to spend tomorrow, is what you're telling me? No, ma'am. You want me to be honest with you? You're going to jail, you don't have a bond, you killed two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond. You are not getting out of jail. Bro, imagine You're just getting drunk one day. Hey, let's, let's go drink. Let's have a good time. Let's go get lit, whatever. Two, three hours later, you don't know what you're doing. You wake up at the hospital, and you're getting, like, 20 years in prison. 
20 years in jail, whatever. Like, you got to realize how serious that kind of stuff is, man. If you do get drunk, you got to, like, make sure you call Ubers or, you know what I'm saying? You don't really want to mess up your life, trust me. Your car is property of East Peoria Police Department because it's a crime scene. It killed two people tonight. You are clueless with that. Clearly. It's not I've worth the, this to you. the fun. You're going to jail for reckless homicide fun. tonight. You're going to jail for aggravated DUI for killing two people. That's what's going on. So no, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're not getting your car out of inbound. Did you just hear what I just told you? You said I'm not going tomorrow. I'm talking about Tuesday. Did you hear what I said you that said you... You said I'm going to jail tomorrow. Did you, you're going to jail right. when we're down here? Yes. Did you understand what I told that you killed two people tonight? Yes. Yeah, so I'm just wondering where I can go to school. Okay. We're done. You're all in body camera being completely careless about killing two people tonight. You could care less. That's sad. That's and disgusting, pathetic. man. And horrible all at the same time. Can you say that? I'm like, oh. Not only is Stephanie completely said, unaware of the fact that she ended the lives of two innocent people while drunk driving, uh, she's also oblivious to the fact that she's going to be spending a very long time in jail. I know most people remember embarrassing things the morning after, garbage but girl. this is going to be she's one hell a of a hangover. Being, the case was already pretty cut and dry, all around. and Stephanie all but confessed on the body cam footage. So she decided to plead guilty to four felonies, including aggravated DUI, and to the deaths of both the victims that died that night. On the 27th of April, 2023, Stephanie discovered that she really wouldn't be going back to school anytime soon, and was sentenced to 14 years behind bars. Man, 14 years is honestly courteous, man. That's not even um, nearly as bad as um, I would have thought she would have got. But I mean, hey, I mean, she did get what she deserved, I guess. Um, let me know what you think she should have got. But yeah, man, that's going to wrap the video up. Hopefully, all you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, drop a like on this video. Comment down below your opinions. This one was honestly traumatizing. Kind of stressful just watching it. Subscribe to my notifications if you're new to become a part of the Clutch Gang. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, man. It's been Boy Clutch. Peace out, baby. Hey guys, let's get lifted. It's hard to get hired in a penthouse. I took her home, let her take a nap, but it's the morning time, so she bit out. Baby, wish her on the game, like, hit it out the park, so she probably came twice. Too low, cocky, but try to remain nice. You know that when someone's eyed, I give kudos. Lately, I've been.